You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping SmackDown Live from January 9th. Yeah. Um, it was a little better show than last week. Um, well, you know, it was less less by the numbers with, with how SmackDown's been doing things. Yeah. So. That's true. Granted, not too far from the norm, but. No. It was yeah. still. S- slightly better? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh huh. So uh, this show, like pretty much every show, starts with a recap of last mm-hmm. week's main event. Yep. Um, and then at the beginning of the show, mm-hmm. AJ Styles comes out, um, and he is being interviewed by Renee Young. They're sitting in those nice cozy chairs. Yeah, it was a little strange. different. Yeah, strange. Usually they don't have <laughs> interviews where they're like sitting, like Ms. TV style. No. no. Um, now usually this would be like a backstage interview or something like that, or or they'll be standing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because usually they have a like you said, Ms. TV and stuff like that, a show. Yeah, and they never stand during those anyway. Mm-mm. I mean, sure. they never sit during those anyway. Um, but yeah, Renee asks him if he thinks that Daniel Bryan's decision is unfair, uh, which obviously we know is true. Um, Damn right. So, so AJ goes, well. I was being sarcastic when I suggested that he put me in a handicap match. But I guess I did this to myself. Yeah. <laughs> so he he rambles on for a little bit and mm-hmm. says that he's going to, he'll win anyway. Mm-hmm. And Renee's like, well, you didn't really answer my question. <laughs> Do you think it's unfair? He's like, well, yeah, it's unfair. And, you know. But then he said, life's not fair. So yeah. you got to do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. And then he said that. If, if I could beat both those guys in, in the same night, mm-hmm. it, as long as it's one at a time. Right. Because they can tag in the fresh guy whenever they want. It's just, it, it puts me in a rough spot. That's for sure. And uh, and then at that point, mm-hmm. uh, KO and Sami Zayn come out. Yep. And um, they say, Sorry, <laughs> yep. Yep. So they say uh, that at... After the Royal Rumble, and they win, they'll be the first ever co-WWE champions, mm-hmm. which would be a very interesting dynamic. That would be, and I would be fine with that storyline, but not to take the title off of AJ. Oh, yeah, if it, it was gender. Oh, yeah, that would have been fine. Um, although it would be funny to see if they got, like, a belt extender, <laughs> and they just out. walk around <laughs> next to each other. Or, Across like, both their chests. Yeah. That, like a that sash be, style. That'd be pretty funny. That would be. Um. Anyway, mm. ba- basically, they kind of just do the yep thing. Cause that's all Sammy says, basically. Yeah, now. pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> we don't like the way you talk. Just say yep. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and then Shane comes out, and he's like, "Well, I can't do anything about the handicap match at the Royal Rumble. That's BS, but, but whatever. I can't. I can do something about tonight. So I'm gonna put." You guys in another handicap match, except for AJ Styles will be teaming with Shinsuke Nakamura and The Viper, oh, Randy Orton, so <laughs> uh, against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in, I guess, he probably said it was the main Yeah, event. I believe he did. Um, uh, so, before we go any further, I, I think it's a, a lot different, the handicap to be three on two than two on one. It's true. <laughs> so it's he made it true. seem t- like it was on even footing, but it's completely it's different. Well, because you at least have the ability to <clears throat> take take someone yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, and then Shane goes into the back, and Daniel Bryan's there. And Daniel Bryan just basically tells him that he made one hell of a mean event. Mm-hmm. And uh, then they kind of just leave awkwardly. Yeah, it was another awkward Daniel segment. Bryan just seems uncomfortable. The whole thing seemed rushed. Like, it didn't seem like they were ready yeah, for so the what, segment. What, what are we going to do tonight? Uh, I don't know. Do the same thing we always do. Try to take over the world. Ah. Mm. What uh, are we going to do tonight, Brian? <laughs> the, I hope the payoff's good. That's that's all. Ah, you know it won't be. <laughs> I know it won't be, but I can hope, man. I guess that's true. <laughs> I can hope. Um, but, yeah. I, I really think if it was just anybody but Shane. That would make more sense. Yeah, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Everything he does just does nothing for me. It's very bland. Yeah, and I mean, he used to be. It used to be fine, but then it just kind of. Well, he he 
He's overstepped been a, his boundaries. He's been around a while now. Yeah, that's, I think that's a big part of it because he was only... There was a novelty back mm-hmm. when he first came yeah. back. Ooh, Shane McMahon's back. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Shane McMahon's then, still here. And then, then we remembered what it was like when he was around the first time where he kind of just was there. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And now he has the ability to... Do whatever he wants. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, well, yeah, well, that was later on when they get talking about... His McMahonisms again. Well, yeah, because Danny Bryan likes to rub it in his <clears throat> yes. face a little bit, um, so which is good because I'm glad that they actually bring stuff like that up. Yeah, hmm. absolutely, especially all the injustice that he has uh, gone through. That's true. Mm-hmm. He's got had bad history with the McMahon. Yes. So that brings us to the first match of the night: uh, returning Becky Lynch versus Ruby Riot. I like how you just assumed it was a six-woman tag match. I. I'm so used to it mm-hmm. that that's what I expected. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I did not know that they announced there was a yeah, single match. Yeah, because they, they showed, like, right before they went to commercial that it mm-hmm. was Ruby Riot versus Becky Lynch. Ah. Like, get, and then, then you text me, uh, <laughs> another six-woman <clears throat> tag match, which is fair because Becky, Charlotte, and uh, Naomi All three of all them came, came out. out. I was yeah. like, why are they getting full entrances? And yeah. then the either Tom or... Whoever said that, oh, this is, Becky's going to have help at ringside or whatever. Yeah, they because said. you know that the Riot Squad are coming down together. Oh, yeah. Um, but this is a decent match. It's nice to see Becky back in the ring. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I think that Ruby is probably the most qualified to oh, absolutely out of the three of them. Mm-hmm. So, oh, well, actually, to be fair, we've not seen much of Sarah Logan. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess established maybe was a better, uh, in the WWE. Yes. The yes. Least, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Because I feel like, um, I, like I said, I don't really know much <clears throat> beyond like what she's done in the WWE so far. And she hasn't she really hasn't done, done much. Yeah. I think that's what I mean. Though. Yeah. I haven't seen anything prior to it. Um, but I hear, I heard very good things yeah. about her. I think she had what a takeover match, whatever she did in the May young classic. I and maybe I think she had a takeover match. Yeah, she did. She wrestled. Oh, at, the, it, wasn't it like the pre? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. It was. Though? Yeah, the pre-show that was yeah. taped for the next week of yeah. the of, uh, NXT. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I said, she hasn't really shown much because she hasn't really had the opportunity mm-hmm. to show much. Yeah. So there's a chance that she could like. No, uh, no. I, I know she's a good wrestler. Yeah. yeah. She could, you know, come out on at the Rumble and just like. Yeah. Make a good showing, and you know. Anyway, she's not really meant to be a a. a, a big force right Mm-mm. now anyway no because this is all let's kill some time in the women's division yeah that's what the entire women's mm-hmm. storyline is in on both shows really yeah <clears throat> um but I, I don't think well again on raw it's mainly going to be tag matches if Paige can't well yeah. wrestle because yeah um but here yeah i don't see Charlotte wrestling Sarah Logan or Liv Morgan or, you no, know, there's really no point to do it. Yeah. That. But uh, anyway, so Becky wins with the disarmor after she reversed what the riot kick, right? Yeah. She was going for the riot kick mm-hmm. and then she rolled out or I guess like kind of like, like Twist. ducked out of yeah. it or something and then grabbed her. Yep. Yeah. So, and then mm-hmm. uh, Ruby taps out. Not a surprise here. Nope. And right. it's a good thing they didn't have uh Becky Lynch lose here. This oh, is no. her first match back I, and everything. There was definitely... The fear? Cro- yep, yep. It was in the back of my mind. Yeah. But so I was like, possible. hmm. Um, so up next, we had the Ascension versus the Bludgeon Brothers. And before that, I guess we got a little look at the... Yeah, uh, there was a sneak peek yeah. at uh, the Fashion Files. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Which I think uh, it was the Ascension. They were saying, oh, at least we have our best friends in our corner tonight. Yeah. I was I was hoping that uh, Rizango said, oh, who are they? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, well, basically what happened was uh, with the Fashion Files, the um, the Ascension were getting ready for their match. Mm-hmm. They were doing squats, and uh, Breeze Angle walks over. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, we're getting for, ready for our matches. We're doing squats. It's like, Tyler Breeze is like, yeah, you're doing squat. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, what we really need is to have a training montage. And nice. then they show the Ascension doing like very pathetic looking attempts at exercising mm-hmm. while Fandango dances and Tyler Breeze poses. And, that sounds pretty good. Uh, yeah. I'll have it, to watch it. It, it, was, it, was, it was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, and then after the montage, the Ascension was like, oh, that was great. Now we're definitely ready for the match. And then the thing that you yeah, said, right. where they said we have our best friends in our corner. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they go, well, 
We actually we have a match, match with uh, Rusev Day, so we won't be able to make it to yours. Wow. And then they just walk away. <laughs> they were they were sad. Yep. But uh, so Victor, I guess, attempted to get the upper hand on Harper right in the mm-hmm. corner, mm-hmm. and that was quickly turned around. Yep. They hit the what double crucifix on? No, no, they, they hit the power bomb combo. I think they hit the power, power bomb, bomb combo. They right, did the crucifix on yes. Connor after yes. the match. Yeah, because. Uh, after the match, Connor was very hesitant to pull uh, Victor out of the ring. Yeah, and well, because uh, Connor never went into the no, ring. No, never. Yeah, I know. yeah. So, but I'm a little upset that they didn't do anything. Give him at least somewhat of a showing. Yeah, like you're not even building this team up. They're doing the same moves over and over. Yeah, because now it's just okay. We're gonna waste the segment of yeah. time on something that's been established already. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, <clears throat> whatever. It, it, it's it's like the D storyline in the tag division, so it, it's not like they really need to focus on yeah. it. Quite frankly, I'm surprised this doesn't Even, happen on main event. Uh, or I guess they don't do they that. They don't on do SmackDown. that for SmackDown. Yeah. If they still did, this could have been show. the dark match. Yeah. Well, I don't. But think I guess Ty Dillinger that. and uh, Mike Kanellis are probably still wrestling that dark match. Sure, that makes sense. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway. Yep. So up next we have. Uh, was this is one of the semifinal matches? No, it was the first was, round. Oh, was, oh yeah, it's still the first still, round. Still <laughs> That's first right. Round. Yeah, that was the final one though. Yes, the final uh, first round. Uh, match. Zack Ryder versus Mojo Rawley with a Bobby Roode at ringside, just yes. sitting alone. Well, he was sitting next to the commentators, yeah, I was say, desk, I don't think but he was not on, on commentary. Yeah. So he was just watching it yeah. in his robe, mm-hmm. <laughs> as as people he, are one to do. <laughs> he's got to wear that robe twenty four seven out of wrestling. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. Not a surprise here. It's, uh, same thing that happened in their match at uh, Clash of Champions. Mojo winning with his, uh, what is it, a forearm or running punch, right? I guess it's probably supposed to be a forearm. Yeah. It, it looks like oh, if... A... <laughs> I was going to say, it looks like if it's not if it's not done correctly, it could cause some real damage. Oh, yeah. Um, I, but I then like... again, so technically you can say the same thing for the Broski boot. Yeah, so, that is true. Yeah. Um, Anyway. But yeah, he wins the match. Mojo, that is. And then him and Rude have a little stare down. Yeah, then... Rude just walks into the ring and just stares yeah. at him. And the then Mojo they play his music. And... <laughs> Bobby does his little glorious thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we get a promo of Jinder talking about how great his 2017 was. And that he's going to... 185 days. Yeah. Yeah. And then I thought the about it. I was like, yeah, that's, that's six months. Yep. So, and then uh, um, he's going to be the new U.S. champion, apparently. Yes. Which I don't think is out of the realm of possibilities. A hundred percent not out of yeah. the realm of possibility. Because mm-hmm. if which is fine, because that's where he should have been in the it's, first place. It's true. And when you look at the well, the way that the tournaments played out, if right. they were gonna put the title on Rude, why Wouldn't bother just... do the thing with Ziggler? Yeah. Unless they didn't plan for that or they would have just given it to rude or had him wrestle uh baron corbin that one match that would have made more sense so that, that means that it's definitely not, not going to be on rude. rude yeah so I, I think that's fair but at the same time like are you gonna have rude lose to gender yeah that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because that's gonna kill his momentum but what you could I do guess. <laughs> well yeah i know he really doesn't have any yeah but what you could do mm. is have rude and gender lose and have the finals be mojo against xavier woods and then put the uh u.s title on xavier woods or on mojo mojo would probably be more or better for him yeah it would be yeah i guess it really it doesn't help but at least with the uso the usos the new day at least it would be something different well yes because they, they said they planned on um Having the New Day rule yeah, with something the like US that. title. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely. It's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Have multiple people uh, defend the same title. Yeah. So. The real co-champions. It's true. Yeah. Well, they, they have a better chance of winning than Sammy and Owens do. You never know, man. I guess that's true. You never know. Um, so up next, uh, they were talking at several points over the course of the night how... Uh, Sean Benjamin and Chad Gable felt like they were cheated last week. What did it say on a shirt? Free the titles or something like Hashtag that? Hashtag free the titles. Yeah. Um, and uh, they said they were going to seek justice like several times before they came out. So they come out. 
and uh, Gable asks anyone in the crowd if they if they knew what it was like to be a winner, to uh, do whatever it takes to to get your goal mm-hmm. or um, achieve your goal. <clears throat> and then um, at that point, uh, Benjamin goes that just because you guys won, because they were in, um, where were they in Alabama? I think so. Last yeah. week, yeah. Yeah, just because you won your the 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 college football uh, mm. playoffs, that you are winners because you're not. And then uh, he says that Georgia got cheated because of bad refing. And you know who else got cheated? We did. <laughs> and then it, they were going on about how that their match last mm. week that they were. They were they were cheated because of jealousy from the referee, which doesn't make a yeah. whole lot of sense. But I guess because they know how to be winners, but the ref doesn't. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, then they started talking bad about the refereeing, and that's when Daniel Bryan came out and says, yes. you guys are talking bad about management. And he was like, well, we weren't talking bad about management. He was like, the referees, that translates to management. Mm. Uh, and then... They go on and on about right it, this all being because of Daniel Bryan and his or they, his insecurities with Shane and all that stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it got strange at this point mm-hmm. when Daniel Bryan came out. And then basically it led to uh, Gable saying, what do we have to do, beat them twice in one night? And then Daniel Bryan's like, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. So we're going to get a two out of three falls match. Yeah, I, it was pretty obvious that that's, that's where they're going as soon as he yeah, said yeah, that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Which is fine. Oh, it's not a bad idea, and, you know, it's nice having gimmick matches Mm -hmm. occasionally. Yeah, you don't get two out of three falls too often. Although, it seems like every match from SmackDown is going to be a gimmick match. Yeah. Because the world title. Mm -hmm. Uh, Technically, a tournament is a gimmick. Yeah, absolutely. Um, And then there's this match, Mm -hmm. and the women's match. Charlotte's not going to be facing anybody. I don't think so. It, It doesn't make sense for them to. Well, there's no one on SmackDown to face her, because everybody's entered into the Rumble. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So Unless, That is true. Because it's not like people haven't challenged for a championship and then entered the Rumble, but yeah, Reigns did it last year. <laughs> There's still people that are mad about it. It's a that. Samoan named Joe. Yeah. All right, so up next we have uh, an interesting segment. I don't know where they were, if they were in the uh, woken land of Matt Hardy well, with the... Uh, they were just in a hallway that had coat hangers on it. Basically. Yeah, they had like the 3M stick things with uh, a couple of shirts hung on the wall. Yeah, because it was like a, a room that was just painted blue. <laughs> it, it was a very odd. It was odd, yeah. And so this was uh, AJ, Randy, and sh- sh- they were talking strategy, I guess, in their terms. Well, AJ comes up and asks Randy if he wants to talk yeah. strategy. And that's when he says, what, hit him hard and hit him fast. All right, we're good here. No, well, no, what, what he said was... That you're just going to... No, because Randy's like, yeah, well, I'm thinking about my strategy. Mm. And he's just like, you're just going to hit him with RKO's, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> he's like, yeah. yeah and then, all right. Yeah. And then Randy goes, you know, AJ, you just have to trust me tonight. But at the, after the Rumble, I'm coming for that title. Yeah. And then Shinsuke comes in, and I think he basically said the same thing. Did he say, let's get ready to Rumble again? I don't know. Oh, I hope he didn't say that again. I, I feel like he said something like this. Something cheesy. Oh, but, you know, man. in all fairness... Mm-hmm. It, it's okay for him to say stuff like that because you know limited um options i, I guess and that's it, true it makes sense well you don't want that to be a focal point i don't know i kind of i kind of like it no 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 his the language barrier you don't want that to be oh, the focal oh, point, oh, like oh, they've okay. done before with long interviews with him i guess and that's true what what yeah idiots but, <laughs> but yeah it was good um so uh, after that, mm-hmm. we have Rusev Day come out yes. before their match with the uh, Fashion Police, mm-hmm. and they say they will be entering the Royal Rumble. So we'll have uh, Rusev and Aiden English in the Rumble as well, mm-hmm. which is weird because there hasn't been a lot of tag teams put into the this Royal Rumble. Oh, this one no, because last year we got the New Day, all three members. Yes, so, um, uh, but as a, as far as we know, Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan. And Seamus and Cesaro won't be in it. Yeah. Uh, the Usos and uh, Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable all won't be in it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, well, uh, Ascension obviously isn't going to be in it. Um, I could definitely see the Fashion Police possibly. They, yeah. the, they're they the most likely to be put in it as just, like, non-entered mm-hmm. entrance. 
It's um, just like a gimmick entrance, basically. Exactly. Because, um, like, they wouldn't put... Or they're not going to have, like, the revival go in it. Yeah. Well, don't want to have them accidentally get hurt. And I guess that doesn't make any... It's true. Any point. Un- oh, inconsequential match. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it's definitely not uh, out of the realm of possibility mm-hmm. with them. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, this was a, a little bit of a surprise with this match. Um, Vashon Police stole victory here. Yeah, I don't like it. So... What was it? Uh, Tyler Breeze pinned Rusev, or was it Fandango? I'm pretty sure Rusev, Rusev took, took the, the pin. pin. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember. I was just very confused. Caught off guard by the so, fact he got rolled up. Why did they do this on both Raw and SmackDown? Um, Simple booking. Uh, SmackDown copies Raw. Yeah, I guess that's true. They, they almost always do. Yeah. Well, well, that worked. You guys had an upset. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I would have um, rather the upset been the Ascension beating the Bludgeon Brothers. That would have made more sense. Yeah. Because why would you have Rusev and Aiden English lose? Unless they just killed Rusev Day. It's possible. <laughs> Rusev it's like, will not be on TV. He'll be cut off, cut from the Rumble. Stop having people like you. Mm-hmm. You're not supposed to be cheered. You're a heel. Yeah. yeah. You're doing it wrong. Uh, just give him the ball and let him run with it. Nah, they're not if he fails, that. he fails. They're not going to do that. No, I know. Um, all right. So uh, yeah. after that, another awkward segment. Yeah, more uh, Shane and Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. Um, Shane says that the two of them obviously aren't on the same page. Mm-hmm. And Daniel Bryan basically says that, you know, you're right. And okay. uh, I don't want you to turn into your father. Yeah. And he's talking about his daddy issues again. <laughs> um, his McMahonisms. Yes. And uh, so. And yeah. Then, and then. Uh, Let, let's just agree to disagree. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I think it was. Uh, every, sh- every Well, every time Vince is brought up to Shane that he's turning into him, he gets mm-hmm. really awkward and quiet. Well, yeah. So. Well, it's, it's, it's a genuine, or not a genuine, but like a fair uh, reaction. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Shane asked uh, Dan O'Brien <laughs> if he's doing all right because he seems a little bit unstable. And that's when uh, Dan O'Brien counters with, you know, I could say the same thing about you. Right. And then that was the McMahon-isms thing. Um, and uh, like you said, they agreed to disagree and then they parted ways. <laughs> I... <laughs> There's nothing else just, we can say. About just this. fire him or suspend him. Come yeah, on, Shane. We know you have more power than yeah, Daniel. We, we, there's really nothing else we can say about yeah. this nonsense. Um, so that leads us to our main event. We have the handicap match between AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Randy Orton versus mm-hmm. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Yeah. So <laughs> this this was something. It wasn't bad, but it was no, just it, it was it was nonsense. It was overbooked. <laughs> um, so. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at one point. Mm-hmm. I guess Kevin Owens was the legal man. Yep. He gets knocked out of the ring. He grabs Sami. He's like, Good, let's get out of here. Yep. Um, and then they walk up the ramp, and Shane comes out. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the referee was just about to get to 10 at this point, no. I think. Oh, he, no, he was like he, at 4. Oh, is that all he was yeah. at? Oh, I thought he was farther nah, than he, that. They, he literally just started counting nah. pretty much when they started walking. Fair enough. Um, that would have been better if they were like, we still have time to make it to the ring. We're just sure, they did. They did. <laughs> Um, Shane goes, no, we're not playing it like this. Mm-hmm. You get back into the ring. This is now a no count out match. Um, and then they restarted the mm-hmm. match that never ended. Yep. Um, and then they get beat up some more mm-hmm. and Sami Zayn is about to, I believe, get RKO'd. Yep. Um, and then Kevin Owens just pops in the ring with a steel chair and hits <laughs> Randy Orton with it. I think he hit he, everybody, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Then he went on to AJ mm-hmm. and Nakamura and they get disqualified. <laughs> yep. And then Shane comes out again and said, no, no, that's not how we're going to do it. This mm-hmm. match is no disqualification and anything goes, yes. right? He, he did say those two things separately. So at this point, they were on the ramp and then all three of them attack him, right? Or no, that was the no, second AJ one. Came yes. up AJ behind... came up behind Owens. And I was yeah. like, oh, we're going to get a false count anywhere, maybe. Because yeah. anything can happen. Yeah. Uh, so they battle to the back. Mm-hmm. And... I think that was just to get the two of them away Wait, from yeah. the ring. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so that left Sammy with Orton and Shinsuke. Yeah. And yeah. Randy Orton did what he did a couple weeks ago. He... Didn't successfully clear off the announce table. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Sammy landed on another I... monitor, but it looked like well, he did. I don't did. think he attempted to clear off the announce table. Uh, Kind of. He kind of brushed stuff uh, away. 
But he picked them up and <laughs> threw them under the announce table mm -hmm. with all the stuff still on the announce table. Yeah. Um, and then he hit a draping DDT off of there? Yep. Then hit him with an RKO, right? And no, then... well, he threw him into the ring. Uh, Shinsuke hit a Kinshasa. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and then, then he, he hit, hit the, the RKO. RKO okay. And then he pinned him. And uh, that That's was right, it. Orton did get the pin. Yeah. That was it. Yep. Oh, SmackDown. Mm hmm. And I guess just having Shinsuke and Orton being in the Rumble, it kind of just separates them from the whole storyline but in it so you know they're they have nothing to do with them at the pay-per-view oh yeah it's yeah, just yeah. that they're there to mm -hmm. do something well they're shane's lackeys mm -hmm. which is really funny yeah uh, no new day this week but i think they were off doing something else uh, i would imagine so. yeah because uh, why wouldn't you have them on tv no especially... corbin but i guess because the u.s title thing's going on he's oh yeah there's no purpose for yeah. him to be around yeah well because last week the only thing he did was announce he was going to be on the rum in the rumble yeah that's so, true. That was really funny. Just yeah. sit there. Uh, oh, yeah, because he had Baron that awkward... Aaron Corbin yeah. is going to be entering the Royal oh, man. Rumble. Yeah, so... Well, still think a SmackDown star is going to win the Rumble? They have to. Yeah. There, there's no reason not to. Hey, unless Roman wins it again. It's not going to happen. He's not going to be in it. Never, he'll probably be in it. Never say never. He'll probably be in it. If there's one thing... He doesn't have a match. Not oh, yet. no. He'll no, have... yeah, well... Yeah, because he's defending the IC title against The Miz. So at he the could 25th, have... A... At the 25th anniversary. He could have a rematch. Yeah, something. But that would... Because he'll probably defend it. Um, but All right. Maybe there'll be right. a reason. We were supposed to be talking about SmackDown. I know, so. but we were thinking... You, you said it. I you did. started mm -hmm. it. It wasn't me. I'm, I'm the instigator. Yeah, well, it's true. So, uh... Anyway, that was our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.